Okay. All right. So uh, how are you doing? How's your day been? Uh, it's good. I, I just start training today. No, yesterday was my first day training after my fight because my legs and just I just rest like three, four days and I really want to to go back to the gym, train again. And, and how uh, how do you feel after the fight? I mean, obviously it didn't go go your way. Was there a part of you that was like, man, I want to just go back into the gym right away, or did you part of you feel like, you know what, I'll take some time and just kind of let my mind recover? Or what? Well, what was the decision? Like, why did you jump back to training so quickly? Because this is my life. So I live for I live for this. I I live for for train. I need to train every day. Uh, after my fight, I was like a little angry with me. I don't know why because I make um, every step, every every day for six months. I make uh, the the things really really good. So I train like very hard. My wrestling my striking my diet was very good i just cut four pounds the last day so i feel really good in the first round i don't feel tired i started uh, making the the things good in the second round but uh, the things happen you know it's just uh, sometimes this is the sport it is what it is you know so I can, I can, uh, so I work for this. This is my only way to make money, you know? So I can uh, go back home and s still crying about my loss, you know? So the thing here is, okay, so I lose, okay, I, I need to fight again. I go back training, just rest two, three days. To recover my my legs because always when I fight my legs finish like so bad you know because I kick a lot and uh, that's it just recover a little bit and go back to the gym still training uh, grinding and that's it I live I live for this you know. I want to talk a little bit about what got you into the sport because when I think Mexico I think. Lucha Libre, or I think boxing with yeah, guys yeah. like Canelo Alvarez. How did you end up in mixed martial arts? So I, I started training Taekwondo when I was younger, like seven, eight years. And at the same time, I train, uh, I play American football. So the, the competition is in my life. It's in my life every day when I was younger. Then, then I still playing American football. Then, at like 17 years old, I start training kickboxing around my 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 house, a little school like there, and. Um, I just start training kickboxing and I like it. All, all my life, I say to my fathers, like, uh, let me practice boxing because I, I like boxing. I like uh, the contact sport, you know, no football, no baseball, everything about contact. And um, they don't, they don't like uh, boxing. And but I just find a. Um, um, kickboxing uh, academy like around my my house so i start training there then uh, i make a couple of tournaments my coach tell me like hey you're really good so just start uh, train uh, still training and and that's it i just jump to mma when i make my first uh, mma fight I don't know anything about wrestling, anything about uh, jiu-jitsu, just kickboxing and uh, like just hurt and let's go, you know? I think that's the the one thing when you think about Mexico fighters, you always think the, the heart. 
the heart stands up above everything else. Like they're always, they, they always fight from their heart, which separates them from a lot of other countries. And speaking of uh, MMA from Mexico, you're starting to see fighters like you, like Yair, uh, guys like Cain Velasquez, Efrain Escudero. What do you think it will take before uh, MMA becomes a big, big sport in Mexico, just like boxing and just like Lucha Libre? Um, I think that MMA is is uh, is one is the for now is the the sport with more um, um how can I say with more um, that that I don't know that is the sport of the moment. Yeah. Why? Be- because one you you can see here in 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 the pandemic you know so this is the first sport who start to make uh, events again so you can see the events in mexico like 10 years uh, ago 300 people there in the events then when combat america start going to monterey 6000 people 7000 people so it's it's taking a lot of advantage with um, with every sport, I think it's is uh, I respect a lot the boxing, but I don't know. Just for now, in in this uh, in this moment, just one or two big stars, mm-hmm. you know. And in MMA, there's a lot of of big guys, you know, like uh, very good people training, uh, uh, fighting out there. And it's it's like uh, I don't know for now the, the the best sport for for me. I respect the uh, lucha libre. I respect uh, boxing, but for now MMA is taking a lot of advantage. When you when you think like your career, your entire career, you fought for Kombate, and Kombate is one of the biggest organizations in the world. Why did you decide, you know what, I'm going to go to the Contender Series? I mean, you had it. The Contender, or, um, Combate was big. It's huge. But you still chose to go to the Contender Series. Why did you choose to do that? And why did you choose to come to the UFC instead? Mm, probably because um, my contract finished with Combate the last year, 2019. Yep. And um, if you are in this sport, it's not just to fight uh, uh, with uh, like um, the people who is like around to Mexico or around United States or Latin America. So when when for me, like for me, being this sport is not just to say to the people, okay, I'm fighter. I'm this. I train just. This is my my life. I want to fight every every people in in all the world. You know the the champions, the the best uh, people in the world. So that that's why my my contract finished, and and I want to 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 prove myself, and to prove the the world. What what can I do? You know that's why. I start looking for other options. Uh, I work really good with Combat America. They work with me really good. But uh, I think uh, I work two years, two years and a half, and uh, I make a, a good work there. So it's just to prove myself that I belong to the best, um, to the best, uh, yeah, to the best uh, league in MMA, you know. So and and UFC is the best league, you know, the best in in the in the business. I want to talk a little bit about your fight. I mean, it, like like we talked about at the beginning, it didn't go your way. Do you feel like not having people in attendance, having a quiet arena, being able to hear everything? Um, rather than hearing the crowd, do you feel like that affected your performance at all, or did you, or do you fight without even noticing it? No, no, no. I, I fight. I, I really feel good in the fight. 
I don't feel like panic. I don't feel uh, something was wrong there. Everything was good for me. Everything, every every step that I make, every jab, the first round, I just try to to find my my range. I find to find little holes, you know, because this guy was a very ex experimented guy, so. The first round, I just try to move and and find some things that I see in 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 my opponent. So the second round, I feel really good, very good uh, condition, very good uh, um, with my technique, with everything. But things happen, you know. The, like uh, this guy threw me a hook, then my reaction was like a fucking shoot. A wrestling shoot and he take me with one of his favorites uh, chokes you know so I think the best one with this guy in this black belt is Brazilian so he's very good in the ground things happen it's like if I throw like a big cross my 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 for me the, the best thing that I have I think the hands so yeah. It's the same. This guy had very good chokes. It's it, these things happen. I don't know. I just feel it like so tight, and it is what it is. I can, I can put uh, excuses here, like oh, my coaches, or oh, uh, probably. I don't know. I am a. Uh, I have 29, so that it is what it is. This yeah. is a sport. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, and to the next one. So I feel a little angry with the result, but no problem to to the next one. The, the, the good thing is, I mean, it's not the first time you hear about a fighter losing on the Contender Series and then getting a call from Dana White a little later saying, hey, look, we need – we need you to step in. I mean, you have an amazing record of it's 17 and three now, right? Like that, that's a very, very good record. Uh, do you think that, you know, maybe that's an option, maybe just stay ready and, and you might get a short notice call to, to compete in the UFC. Yeah, for sure. This is a very, uh, very good option. I know people lose there and at the one or two months later they call. So just stay ready. I'm, I'm, I lose uh, one fight, but I don't lose anything. Just it's just one fight and stay ready for the next one. I, I I am hungry to demonstrate to that I belong here. You know that I belong to the best um, to the best league in the in the world. To, I, I want to show the people. I think in this five in this fight, I just uh, show the people little part of my. Of my preparation of my of what can I do, you know? So I'm really excited to show the world what can I do. I know I'm be I'm I'm better than that day, yeah. but I can make anything. I just um, take the the fucking loose in in my record and let's let's go to the next one. I want to talk about um, another fighter from Mexico, a guy I'm a huge fan of and someone that you train with, um, Yair Rodriguez. What's it like working with a guy like that? I mean, he's got some of the best striking in the UFC. So so what's it like working with him, and, and how does he make you better? Uh, when I started uh, my first time here training in Chicago, I met Yair, and uh, it was very, I was very excited because it's like you, you know, so for me to see Yair training here with, to see how he trained the, 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 the movement, the, the big kicks and everything was so huge. But the thing here is how can I learn every day a little bit from from him a little bit uh one day next day i can learn other things 
every day I learn, even if we are not training, I learn a lot of things like how do you perform the the fight day or uh, how you can be better like in your life. So it's a really good friend and uh, he's making that, that things good for now. He's he have a injury the leg, but he's st still training every day. It's like upper body. He he he's preparing himself to to the next fight. I know he's he's there. He he's there. He wants the fight too. But the people don't understand that yeah. this thing happened. This guy have a lot of fights out there, and the. Uh, Injuries always happen, but he's still training every day. He's still training with the team. Uh, and that's it. This is a... Everything... Everything... So, sorry. Every day when I go to the gym, I say I learn a little bit from, from Jair. A little bit every day. So he's very good uh, uh, guy with with us, and um, he's like uh, it's very good to see this guy training. You know, it's it's very weird because a lot of jumps, a lot of big kicks. So I just when he's training, I I jump looking. What can I learn? Little move, little step, everything. So it's, it's very good to see this guy training. I want to get your uh, your predictions for that fight. I mean, he's got. I mean, he's going to fight Zabit, which that fight is crazy. As someone who who trains with Yair, do you think Yair can beat him? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I know Zabit. Um, he he's very good. He's very good striker. Very good, um, but I think he got too much weight. I think he have two or three things that we can take uh, advantage from there. Yeah, it is way way better fighter. Very very uh, good kicks, and um, probably. Sabit is very good the first and the second round. I yeah. think with uh, five rounds, it's going to be very hard. So let, let's see. Let's see. I, I I trust in my team. I trust in, in my teammate. So I know it's going to be a very good fight. All the all the people want to see the fight. And uh, my teammate is, is, is really excited to the fight. But Sometimes people don't understand that this thing happened. Injuries this thing happened. happened. Yeah, injuries happen. It's MMA. It's not. It's not like just boxing. We, we kick every day. We wrestle every day. We grappling every day. So we are exposed every day to uh, injuries. But he's recovering every day. He's he's making the things good. That I know. This, this fight is gonna happen soon, and when this happens, I, I know my my guy is gonna be with a hand and up that day. I want to ask one more prediction, and I'll ask two more questions, but one more prediction. Big, big fight coming up, in my opinion, right there with you. You're one of the best strikers in the world, Israel Adesanya. He's fighting Paulo Costa, two people who are undefeated. What uh, who do you think is gonna win that one? Um. I I really like the uh, Asania. The the striking is really really good, but let's see this this case. Uh, I know because I fight in that case, so this case is really really short. So with the pressure from the other guy, what's the name? The, um, Paulo Costa. Yeah, Paulo Costa is gonna be hard. Probably the the hardest fight because the case is so uh, smaller. So 
if if he win this fight with this cage, but I don't know. Probably I go with Asanya because I think he's better, better in the in the striking. He's very smart, very good kicks, but. Mm, with all the pressure, with Paulo Costa, it's bigger. I don't know. I don't know. Everything can happen in this fight. All right. One last question from me. So I always, I kind of built this platform by, by p- making matchups. So saying, you know, after a fight, this guy should fight this guy. Is there one person, whether they currently fight or they used to fight, is there one person that you look back and say, I would have loved to fight that guy at some point in my life? Yeah, for sure. In 145, Jose Aldo. Yeah, because I I I started looking his fights, you know, uh, when I was younger, when I started training. I know probably this never happened because Jose Aldo, probably his moment is... Um, Probably he have like four or five fights more, and that's it. For or I don't know, but now he go for one thirty five. But this is one of the fights that uh, I can I want I want it for for a future or for in my mind, you know. So. And uh, last question for me: um, When can we expect you back in the cage? I know you just got back back into training. Um, if it was up to you, when would you be fighting? So for me, I can fight like two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> I, I'm, I swear, I, I, I'm ready. I, I just start uh, diet again, start training again. When I start training, I take all my, my, my life for the right, uh, for the right way, like with my diet, with my life. With, I sleep uh, early. Uh, I wake up early every day, so I try to make the the good things every day, because I respect what I what I make. I respect my my coach to go early training. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am very hungry to show the the, the world what what can I do. I repeat this every day. Uh, I lose my left fight, but I'm ready. I'm ready. Probably if I need to make other fight, okay, I make other fight. But I will be here in this year. I know uh, my my time is coming. All right, man. I'm a huge fan, and I uh, I really liked your performance. I know it didn't go your way, but I think uh, I think a lot of people will find out sooner rather than later how good you really are. 17 and three, fighting for Combate and now the Contender Series. There's great things coming from you, and. Uh, all the best, man. Stay safe, and hopefully we can see you out there sooner rather than later. Yeah, I hope. I, 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 that's why I'm, I'm here. And uh, thank you for, for, the, for this moment. Um, I, will be, I will be training for the next one, and thank you for, for this. Of course, man. We'll, uh, we'll get you back on after the next one, and, and we'll keep yeah. getting you back on and, until you're in the UFC. <laughs> I, hope, I hope my English is better in the next interview <laughs> maybe we'll do the next one in spanish you never know yeah for sure all right man all the best see you